My name is Mr. Patrick. Hi, Mr. Patrick. Hi, Mr. Patrick. Hi, Mr. Patrick. Hi, Mr. Patrick. This day, everyone say hi, Miss Day. Hi, Miss Day. So we will be your guides here today at the Bayona Wetlands. So, any questions right now before we get started? Um, are, are some of the birds that make it down your shirt? We may here? see some of these very same birds on my shirt. Every day is a little different out here, right? These are wild animals that come and go as they please. But in particular, for on our best behavior, hopefully we will see some of these very cool birds. Wrap around your neck. I want you to come touch the sagebrush, and I want you to touch it like you would rub an animal, uh, maybe your pet dog or pet cat. Then I want you to smell your hair. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you what do you think it smells like? Mint. Mint. What else? A little bit of cologne. Cologne. I love it that you said that. What else? Toothpaste. So oh, this is called California sagebrush. It is a native plant to California and the Bayona wetlands. And guess what? The nickname is cowboy cologne. Right here, this one attracts these very cool bugs. These are not ladybugs, they kind of look like them. These are called harlequin bugs. They're black and orange. So take a look, they're all over this plant. So what you want to do, touch the berry, get a little bit of on your plant. I want you to take the plant that looks like grass and I want you to pull it through your fingers like this like 10 times. Lick your fingers. Everybody lick your fingers. Lick one finger. It's like salt. It's salt, guys. It's not like salt, it is salt. That's salt grass. I want to show you this one more plant. So this is called pickleweed. Stay with me, pickleweed. It's very salty and it's super salty. So this plant is actually storing salt up at the top. That's delicious. It's good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, cool. What do you think it is? I don't know. Come here. Come on. Can you see this guy right there? Can you see his teeth? Oh. Right in here? See his teeth? Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, look, look at, at those claws. Where? Let me see. Look. Oh, dang. That means it has to be. What? Yeah. It has to be what? We saw uh, a dead heart. What is it? I don't know. Oh. We both play, but uh, we think it's either a raccoon or a possum. That's it right there. That's a possum guy. mind that what you guys what goes on in your city in your neighborhood is affecting what happens here at the wetlands all that trash that ends up on the street all that pollution every time you don't pick up after your dog I want you guys to kind of just think about that what are ways that we can prevent the trash from getting here in the first place that's a really good lesson because living in downtown there's so much trash and I'm sure at some point or another they've kind of contributed to it and I think today kind of kept them accountable to that hey wetlands I learned about new animals and I learned about new stuff about the ecosystem. They're having just fun and they're learning new new terms, new vocabulary, new just an amazing experience. So what's been the coolest part about this day for you? About the dead animal. They've never done anything like this, so it's a new experience for them. They they want to know what they're gonna do next. So they're always very excited. So we're doing something right that they're engaged and they are really liking science. You see one now. Thank you, Hope Creek Family Center for taking me to the um, wetlands and getting and having a good experience. A good experience.